good day friends it is me HL Mod Tech and I am back with another 3D printing video so let's get cracking everybody we are back with my cute dragon tutorial made this the other day it does take a little more than 20 minutes friends the goal was for it to be super cute and 3d printable now i sent this one to the 3d printer and at these current measurements where it's 115 by 91 it was going to be a four hour print now my goal is always to have the prints closer to an hour so let me show you some modifications I will let you know that I brought this into Kira, scaled it down so it was closer to an hour. It did print fine with supports. I'll show you that print in a minute. What I forgot was that wrecked my eyeballs. So here is my smaller version. What I did was I took these two pieces right here, and I'm going to shift click them again, and I locked them. That way they can't change. I held down shift and squeeze. And as you can see, I typed down 75. I'm going to just redo that so it gets back to that size. That is close to the one hour print that I want. It'll end up probably being about an hour and 40. On the Sobol SV06. Now the other thing that I love to do, if you do supports in Kira, which I'll show you in a minute, they do some pretty large supports. I prefer these little cones. Let me bring one out for you if we grab the shapes. Let me bring one out for you and show you what I do. I'll set this to 0.5 so it does have a little bit of a piece up top. I like the bottom size to be 3 for the radius so that way it's 6. And then I just shrink the height like this. Now we just move these into place, adjust the height, and make sure they're touching. If you want to make the shape a little different, you can. I've had a ton of success with these and I just find them a little faster than the ones that Kira creates. Real quickly, let's do F to fit view. Because of the way this curves up and then that is above it, I do not need that one at all. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. Cause see it built all the way up here and it's gonna go across. Now when this starts to dip down, that one is gonna be handy. I may even stretch it out a couple pieces back and forward, but make it thinner so that it really supports the way I want. Nudging these with a 0.25 or a 0.1 nudge let you even get more specific as to what you're trying to fix with your 3D print. I just want this low hanging piece to have support as it prints. The rest of this I think is gonna build up fine. And then friends, I am gonna tell you, these wings on my test print already printed without supports. So now I'm gonna go to the eyes. So we've got these eyeballs and I told you, I'm gonna ungroup this to use the number to use a number, but I'm gonna tell you that it didn't work on my first test. So we're gonna zoom in and I said 1.88. I'm gonna tell you we want 1.92. Mine just did not have enough room for it to go in easily. So I'm just fixing that super quick. Notice we did need to keep these eyeballs separate so that we didn't scale that down and make it even worse. Once again, put the work plane on top of that shape so I can check its measurements. 1.92 and 1.92. I'm also going to take the black one and make it a tiny bit smaller because it did not show up very much on those prints. L for a line, make the white one the boss, and I want middle and middle. Now I'm going to select those three. Notice it says six. I got a bonus one here. I'm going to hit delete delete and delete there were two in the same spot I must have did a double grouping back in the day so now I've got those selected I do like seeing it with the multicolor let's fix this one too once again I'm gonna put that work plane on top and I'm gonna shift shrink the black one and this time I'm gonna do alt shift so it goes around center control down I'm gonna click on this one and do control down now I can shift click, shift click, shift click, check that it's three shapes and group them. Of course, when we're done, make sure that multicolor is back enabled. And then I'm going to sink it in just a little bit further. I think that's going to be pretty sweet. Work plane on the ground. Like I said, these wings printed fine without supports. I do want to double check this. If this was aimed with any pieces below, that would be a problem. But since it slopes up the whole time, Notice that's the adjustment. You can nudge it in and out if you want. 
This one also builds out, so it should be fine. Just double checking all those pieces to make sure we're ready for 3D printing. Now let's see if the rest of this can be handled by the 3D printer. Of course, we select the entire design. Do export, and it's gonna be an STL. Note it does take quite a while to export this shape. I'm gonna change the name of this so I can keep track. This will be Dragon, and I'm gonna put support because they are built in. I'm also gonna show you what it looks like if we don't have the supports. So I'm gonna simply zoom in, click on each of those. So let's do Shift Select to speed it up, and click Hide. So now there are no supports. I'm gonna grab that same part, and we're gonna export it again, STL, and of course save it as no supports. All right, friends, so we have this loaded in Kira. You can see I'm using the Sovol SV06. I'm printing with PLA. If you double check, I've got low quality. I have got the wall set at 0.8, the top bottom at 1.12, 15 for the infill, 260 for my filament settings, and I've got no support and I've got no bed adhesion. Hour and 46 minutes. I'm gonna click over here and change the name. I'm gonna call this V3 because I've printed it other times. And let's save it to that removable disk. I'm not gonna eject it yet, but I do wanna show you this. We're gonna delete that one. And let's quickly bring in that other print where it had no supports. And let me show you how to do supports with this. So if we hit generate support, you can see that I have enabled the tree settings. These are pretty cool. Um, when you do this, if you don't have yours enabled, what you need to do is click right here and if you type tree, you'll be able to find all of those and turn them on so that you can adjust them. Now there are options for support structure. Check it out if I reset this, you can see what Kira wants. I'll let you see these real quick. I will reset this so it matches them all. It went back to normal. I want tree. I'm going to reset that trunk. They go 25. And they have everywhere for support placement. And let's see what this looks like. In order to check it out, I need to wait for it to finish slicing. And then if you switch to preview, we can see how those supports are going to work. If you slide this all the way down, you can see how they come all the way up and they're gonna support everything in the design as it builds and check it out, those are hollow. So these are supposed to be super efficient. I wanna show you just how well this printed without any supports at all. I did print it like this once though, so I do have one version I can show you that was printed with these supports. And there he is, friends, how cool is that? So let's slide him back and let's see what it's like to remove these supports. I have not done this yet with the new Kira Tree supports. They do break off pretty easy and as you can tell, they are totally hollow, which is awesome. That is very frugal. I'm having trouble keeping this focused with my hands in the way, so I'm gonna pull it away and I'm gonna clip them really quick. All right, so you can see those pieces did come off in pretty large chunks. You can also tell I made this one quite a bit smaller. Check out the difference in the head. And also you can see the eye hole. There's just no way the filament was going to go in there because I scaled the eyeballs as well. There you have it, friends. A super fun Tinkercad Dragon. Totally ready for beginners and 3D printable. How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up this video, I just want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. As you can see, I've got the page about 3D printing. You can see all the printers that I have or have worked with here. And also down at the bottom, there is a sweet built-in message until you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.